Kakuna Rattata. What a wonderful team. Hey everyone, how's it going? So welcome to the Glitchless Kakuna Rattata Run. I'm using Fire Red, and this was chosen by people on my Twitter. I posted a question, which generation you wanted my next run to be in. People said Generation 3, so I had a couple runs I was thinking of, and when I saw Gen 3, I felt like I really want to do the Kakuna Rattata Run, because I get to say Kakuna Rattata and not cringe, so that's pretty cool. Um, there are a lot of changes between Gen 3 and Gen 1, which makes this run a lot of fun, because I'll point out pretty much everything that's changed since, uh, if you've watched Glitched Magikarp. A lot of things have changed, and yet we're playing pretty much the same game. Uh, these are very, very faithful 16-bit remakes. Of course, they use all of the, um, Generation 3 mechanics, so we have abilities now, held items, uh, steel type, things like that. And I'll point out differences when they come up, but... Otherwise, unlike HeartGold SoulSilver, they didn't really change uh, certain things. Like, the Pokedex is still 150 Pokemon, so you can't breed, for example, until I think you beat the game. I forget. Of course, I'll, I'll remember as I play. Um, another small thing they changed that is uh, the placement of Charmander and Bulbasaur. I, I don't know why they did that, but yeah, Charmander was on the far left and Bulbasaur is now on the far left. So it's now um, consistent numerically. But sort of funny. I went to pick Bulbasaur basically because, well, it just seems right, you know? The, uh, just like the glitched Magikarp run, let's, let's try and do as much of this as, uh, we can the same. Which will be approximately five minutes because as soon as you get to Pewter City, everything is different. Actually, even Viridian Forest, things have changed. Um, and I'll point all of that out. But for now, we just have to win or lose the fight. It really doesn't matter because I'm not planning to use Bulbasaur for very long. Uh, Bulbasaur is just here until I deliver the Oaks parcel, and then I will get Pokeballs, and I can catch my Rattata, and then my Weedle, which I will evolve into Kakuna. The reason for not just catching Kakuna is because the move relearner isn't until, um, like, I think the seventh gym. So there is a move relearner. You don't have access very late in the game, and, uh, yeah, I kind of need my Kakuna to know Poison Sting. That's, that's pretty important. Kakuna's already pretty terrible. Um, so yeah, Kakuna and Rattata, let's talk about them. They're interesting Pokemon. Rattata, uh, gets the Guts ability, which, uh, will raise its attack if it's status, so that can be useful, and it also learns a lot of really cool special moves, so I'm probably gonna be using a mixed set, so to speak, uh, just because, you know, I'm using two Pokemon, so I'm gonna want as much coverage as possible. Kakuna only gets Poison Sting, so if I did this in, let's say, Heart Gold, I would get Bug Bite, which is really useful. But, hey, you guys wanted Gen 3, and uh, who am I to argue? Also, uh, you know, it's pretty cool to do this in red and blue. Uh, you know, maybe one day I'll do a glitchless Magikarp run. The only problem with that is Kakuna and Rattata, you can actually beat all a gyms. Magikarp, the quickest you can get Magikarp is after Brock. Because, of course, you can't skip the, uh, the Brock gym as you can in red and blue. So, yeah, I don't really like doing runs where I can't beat all the gyms with the uh, whatever theme I've chosen. But, what can I say? Alright, so, I actually forgot about this, uh, when I was playing originally. But, you actually can catch that Rattata. Unlike in Red and Blue, you get Pokeballs from Professor Oak, although it doesn't tell you. You actually get five Pokeballs. So, I realized that as soon as I went to the Mart. Now, the reason I didn't buy more Pokeballs is, in this run, there's a lot of strategy that I'm gonna use. And, money management is very important. My Pokemon are gonna suck, and they actually aren't as quick to level up as other Pokemon. So right now I'm just looking for the Rattata. And uh, I'm actually gonna spoil, I'm not gonna use this Rattata. This Rattata actually had, um, Runaway, which I put in my top 10 most useless abilities. I, I want Guts, not Runaway. So, I, I, I catch another Rattata later. Uh, you'll see, uh, there's gonna be an ed there's a few edit points, basically because I have to do a lot of grinding. And I was just about to mention this, you know, speaking of grinding, the Pokemon I'm using, and uh, I talked about this in my glitches video, but basically Pokemon level up at different rates. And so Bulbasaur and, uh, yeah, no, Magikarp doesn't. Magikarp's actually the worst. So Bulbasaur levels up at the medium slow rate, which means it's really quick to level up early on, and then it gets a lot slower. And Rattata and Kakuna are in the medium fast, which means by the end game, they'll start leveling up faster than a Pokemon like Bulbasaur. 
but the most important point where I'm going to need level ups are actually the beginning of the game, and it takes them far more experience to level up than something like Bulbasaur. That made a, a bit of sense. So you might be noticing some other small changes, like that potion is on the other side of the tree, so you can't get it, which sucks. Uh, another change, and this is going to mess me up just time and time again, is that I don't know why they did this. I think it's to be consistent with Ruby and Sapphire, but if you notice, Bag and Pokemon have switched spots. So Pokemon used to be to the right of Fight, and Bag was underneath, and now they're switched. And, you know, I've played so much of Red and Blue recently that it's very difficult for me to remember that. Another difference between um, Fire and Leaf Green and Red and Blue, really weird difference, is... Well, I don't know if it's so weird. The encounter rates are different. In red, you almost always will find Weedle, and in blue, almost always find Caterpie, and it's very rare to find the other one. Fire and Leaf Green each have a 40% chance to appear, and then Metapodic and Kuda also have a, uh, each have a 5%. Wait, that doesn't make sense. I think they each have a, no, I think they each have a 5, I don't remember. I think Kakuna would have a 10% in Fire Red, Metapod a 5%, and I believe Pikachu 5%, but I could have just looked that up, but right now I'm commentating, so can't do that, but I think I'm right. Anyway, I didn't realize I wasn't going to use this Rattata, so a good way to grind up experience points with your low-level Pokemon are to KO the Metapod and Kakuna you run into, but yeah, this is when I realized I have Runaway, so I went and looked at that, I'm like, oh, wait a minute. And I started looking up, you know, can you get Guts in Gen 3, and yes, you can. So. I'm going to go back and catch a Rattata, but this is the Weedle I use. I actually only catch one Weedle, and uh, it's a decent Weedle, I guess. Uh, something unfortunate will happen rather soon, but I'm going to go and train them up, and I'll see you in a second. Okay, so that was about 30 minutes of tedious grinding. And uh, I beat every trainer in Viridian Forest, and there's a bunch of new ones that they added for Fire Red Leaf Green. And so you can see Rattata is now at level 10, it knows Quick Attack, and it is a Guts Nature. And then we have a Rash Nature Kakuna, which... Ugh. So basically, when Kakuna, when Weedle became Kakuna, it leveled up twice in that fight. So it actually leveled up from 6 to 7, then 7 to 8. So it didn't learn Harden, and you might be like, oh, what's the big deal? You know, Harden sucks. But actually, the strategy I planned to use against Brock relied a little bit on Harden, so it's still possible, just easier with Harden. But as you can see, it's already taken me an hour and four minutes just to challenge Brock. So let's see if my hour is well spent. So Brock sends out Geodude. My strategy here is to just use Poison Sting and hope I get a poison. Now, the quicker I get the poison, the better off this is going to be. I have, I think, 15 potions, but I'd rather not use them unless I know I'm going to win. Because if I start wasting potions, it's going to be bad, because I'm not going to... Money's going to be very, very tight throughout this entire run. So, Geodude essentially, I think, is random. It just uses Tackle sometimes and Defense Girl sometimes, and that time it used Tackle and got a crit, so that sucked. Where Harden would have come in handy is while it was using Defense Girl, I probably, well, it actually wouldn't have mattered because it got a crit, but it would have been nice to just start spamming Harden, but, oh well. You can see that because it's gotten up so many defense curls, I'm doing, like, nothing with Rattata, so I have to rely on the poison damage. Poison does one-eighth of its health every turn, so it's an eight-hit KO, so that's a pretty long time to survive. And, uh, now I gotta face Onyx, who's at a higher level than me, and it also knows Rock Tomb. Oh, there it is. And there goes Rattata. So, let's now go to attempt number two. So we've learned a lot from our first attempt, and hopefully we'll get a bit of a quicker poison. That could help a lot. So, you know, turn one, turn two. Okay, so we got a turn two poison, so that's pretty good. Um, and once again, I just start spamming Harden, but... And it, it would have made not much of a difference there. I would have had probably four health. It would have still probably taken me out in one more hit. So, like I said, not a... Not a big deal, but it just would have been nice to have that option. Uh, I use Tail Whip because I'm hoping... I was hoping to, you know, entice it to use Defense Curl, but I don't know if that, you know, makes a difference or not. I just really don't want it to use Tackle. It does quite a bit of damage to me. Uh, and there goes Rattata. So, you know, did a high roll there. That was kind of crappy. 
So let's let's try now a third time against Brock. So we made it to Onyx our first try. So you know we should make it to Onyx once again. But we need uh, we need Kakuna to cooperate with me. Kakuna, just get your poison happening. Thirty percent chance per hit. So all we need is a poison. Come on, gotta get poison. I I won't win now. It's gotten up. Oh God. Okay, so I decided to do some more grinding, and hopefully now, on attempt 4, we'll have better luck. Kakuna's now at level 9, so yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. Already got a crit, that's awesome. Uh, oh, and uh, two crits. Lovely. Okay, uh, let's try again. Attempt number 5. <laughs> okay, so, you know, a poison would be nice. Please poison. Please poison. Poison? Poison? I I don't think I'm getting a poison, guys. Oh well. Um, at least it's not using tackle, but at this point it's gotten up so many defense curls that Rattata well basically it won't go above six. So it's using up all its defense curls now, and Rattata's gonna do like one damage per hit. Hey, I got a crit by the way. That crit did all of two damage instead of one. Oh, there's the poison. Okay, so you know, turn one, turn eight. What difference does it make, right? And, uh, okay, so I, I don't really know why I'm even trying here. This is pretty much just a foregone conclusion that I've lost. Uh, although, oh, a crit. Okay, I was about to say, a crit would be pretty helpful, so that's that's great. Um, okay, it's it's gonna faint a poison. And, uh, all right, so finally, it took me four more attempts. We made it back to Onyx. And I've learned Hyper Fang. Okay, so Hyper Fang's actually base, I believe it's base 80 power, and it has a chance to flinch. So that's that's pretty decent damage, of course. I had like no health left, but I'm pretty optimistic that here in attempt number six, we will finally beat Brock. Okay, so first turn poison, that's looking pretty good. That that is exactly what we needed. A first turn poison. So at this point, I would love to use Harden. Especially if you get first turn, because that would really be making a difference. Because Geodude seems to just alternate randomly between defense curl and tackle, as I've been saying. Okay, alright. So I think I should use poison, uh, poisons, potions uh, for this one. I want Kakuna to possibly poison Onyx as well. That would be pretty helpful. So I'd rather it not faint. So this is a pretty good time to use potion. Of course, once again, bag is not where it used to be. Alright, so I'm going to have 19 health for onyx i should be okay all right let's try poison sting okay of course so rock tomb super effective and uh all right rattata it's uh, up to you so i'm gonna try and use a tail whip here get its uh okay that was lucky uh get its defenses down so i'm doing not great damage and i got a flinch that's pretty good uh okay so rock tomb hit now i'm gonna be outsped which isn't great and tackle's doing seven rock tomb about 14 so i need to heal so it goes for rock tomb i'm gone I basically have to hope it doesn't go for that. Oh, and there it did. It went for Rock Doom. So, okay, Bind is good. Bind does very little damage. Actually, has a pretty high chance to miss. So, I'll have to heal here because Rock Tomb would finish me off. And it missed. That's pretty good. So, I this Onyx has, it seems to have better AI. It seems to know when I'm within range for Rock Tomb. So, I'm still good. I'm still good. All right, I have 19 health. I should be able to finish it off. Okay, that, that, that was scary, but I did it! Six attempts! Take that, Brock, and your stupid rock Pokemon. Oh my goodness. Okay, that took a really long time. That took a really long time. Oh, goodness. And I get a TM I don't get to use. Okay, so that was an hour and a half. And coming up next video, I will try and take on uh, Mount Moon and then hopefully Misty. So uh, I hope you enjoyed part one. Stay tuned.